Well, thanks for coming back and seeing the continuation of this building of the horse-drawn bobsled. I also want to say thank you to all of you who have sent their best wishes and greetings through this past couple weeks of the holiday season and for the cards and for the number of little gifts that you have sent also. I do appreciate that. It is an encouragement. And uh, I also want to just say the best wishes to you all, the viewers of this channel, for the upcoming year of 2020. So last week I'm a little tardy on responding to the comments. I too took a week off. My wife and I went back and we saw some kids over the last week. So I'm a little slow but I'll get to the comments here soon. Well the next step in building this bobsled is to build the rollers. I sawed out the rough blank for that in last week's video. But here we have two rollers that I'm going to chuck up in the wood lathe and turn down on the end. And the purpose of the roller is to attach the tongue and the reach to the tips of both the front and the rear runners. And because it is a pivot point and has a rolling action, hence the name front and rear roller. So I'm going to take this 4x4 four four and turn it down to about a 4 inch circle on the end and kind of taper it up and leave it square in the center. And I think as you follow along, it'll make sense. I'm going to take some 3 8 machine bolts and kind of refashion the head on these to attach the iron shoes to the runner. I cut these heads to about a 60 degree taper and that matches the 60 degree countersunk hole that I put in the iron shoe itself.
So the bunks are going to sit down in between these two stakes or pegs, sometimes called the bunk stake or the bunk peg. And this is what's going to hold the bunk in place. And then we have these bridge irons that we made in the earlier videos that will sit down over top of these stakes and keep, the, keep both the stakes in place and the bunk in place. So anyway, this is one style of bobsled runner, and they're not all the same. There are variations. So next week, we'll continue on with the bunks. And as always, thanks for watching.